Hello and welcome to becomingachef.co.uk. My name is Christopher Flatt and this is my presentation on the bread leavening process, all about baking, the basics. So the bread leavening process. A very important area of bread baking is the leavening process. This reaction gives bread its quality in texture and all important, the flavour. It is important to understand how the leavening process works. The same technique is generally used in most cultures all around the world. In some places such as the Middle East, they also used unleavened bread. So on bread leavening without yeast. Leavening means to put gas into the dough during or before the baking process to achieve a more eatable and lighter bread. Most bread eaten in the UK is leavened. However, unleavened breads are out there, such as the Middle East, where they may have pita breads. Leavening is a basic technique that uses the gas producing chemicals. Ways to leaven bread without yeast. The two most common methods are one, the method of using baking powder or a self raising powder with a little bit of baking powder mixed through. The second, this method involves adding an acidic ingredient such as a baking soda with buttermilk. The reaction of the baking soda and the acid will create the gas and this type of leavening is used when making soda breads and for a fast bake bread. This method is used more in the making of sweet breads or muffins. So on bread leavening with yeast. Yeast is used in the leavening of a range of breads and the yeast is a single cell fungus. This species of yeast used in bread leavening is called, this is the same type as used in the brewing of alcohol. In the reaction, the yeast will ferment carbohydrates in the flour and any sugar within the bread. And this will create the carbon dioxide, which creates the gas, which helps produce the leavened bread. So more about yeast. The sourdough and the baker's yeast method of making bread follow a similar process. The baking liquid, such as water, is combined with the salt, flour and the leavening agent. Other ingredients that can be added include fruits, nuts and seeds. However, these are not essential to bake bread. However, any of these added will add flavour and add texture to the final product. Once the dough has been mixed and it is allowed to rest at least once, bakers will often let their bread rise, knock their dough back so it's flat again and let it rise again before baking. So the dough is then formed into loaves in the required style and baked in the oven. Another process of making bread is using the straight dough or the direct dough method. In this case, all of the ingredients will be added in a single step and allowed to rise and then baked in the oven. The starter method for making dough is another option. This is when the water, flour and raisin agent are mixed together at least one day before baking and this allows the dough to ferment. All the other ingredients will then be added and the rest of this method is similar to the straight dough process. Steam leavening. Bread can also be leavened by steam, expanding very quickly within the bread. So this is a much faster process. But however, this is a basic method and it can be pretty unpredictable. But one type of bread that uses this method is the popover. And steam leveling can be done using most leavening agents, including sourdough, egg snow and baking soda. This method is highly unpredictable due to the steam only, be a, only being created once the bread is actually baked. Bread, sourdough and leavening. All agents have their own properties and characteristics. This results in the different characteristics of the finished bread and the finished product. The taste in sourdough is not produced by the yeast, it is the lactose, a non-spore forming bacteria. The yeast lives in association with this. The lactobacillus feeds on the leftover products of yeast fermentation. This makes the part that turns sour by the excretion of lactic acid. Also, this will protect everything from spoiling. 
The baker's yeast that is used in the baking of bread is a specific strain of yeast. This is not naturally sour because of the absence of the lacto and needs to be or well, it needs to go through the process to form a sourdough starter. All breads were sourdough up until the 19th century, and this is until the process of rising through microbes was fully understood by the scientists, and as soon as the de development was made by the scientists, yeast was taken on by bakers all over the world. Sourdough bread essentials. So sourdough is made using a sourdough starter. A sourdough starter can be managed continuously, time after time. Starters can be kept for extremely long periods of time. A traditional method for the culture of sourdough is bread making families. Is to have the sourdough prepared and keeping a piece back to use for the following week. So they will have the dough made with the, the starter and they will take a small piece of this out and then they will carry on finishing their bread and the small piece that's left over will be created to another starter to create another dough for the following week. And then the following week they will again take a small piece of the dough away using it as a starter, make their bread with the rest of the dough and keep that small piece so that it's a continuous process. Salt risen bread bacteria. Salt risen bread uses a leavening method that does not use yeast. This process is not as accurate as using yeast as a leavening agent and needs close attention. This style of bread making will produce a cheese like flavour and a smooth texture. Fats and preparation. There are a broad range of bread preparation methods. The finished product will change depending on the preparation method which has been used. Also, the body, crust and the texture will vary with each different method or ingredient used and of course the quantity of ingredients. Some bakers will have their own methods of producing their own original types of bread. The gluten development within the bread can change depending on the fats which are used. So this can be vegetable, oil, lard and so on. By use, but however, but by using too much fat in a bread dough, the recipe can separate when the protein structures, because there's too much oil, then the protein structures will just separate. So thank you very much for listening to my short presentation. I've got much more information on bread baking on my website. I've got some more videos coming very soon. So please subscribe below to my channel and please give my video a thumbs up.